All the knowledge that are in this building or in, uh, in this R&D department uh, is the most important to develop a new material. It's often that we have customers that uh, have a specific demand that uh, they need a better material in, in their process to withstand longer service lives. We start often with the initial phase where we try out the hypothesis we have by using modeling and find out some starting points for new compositions. And those we try to produce in our small scale melt shop. And then we test them and we characterize the microstructure in house. And often it turns out that we are on a good path and then we use modeling again and put together a new set of experimental heats and evaluate them and then in this round hopefully we could say we have a candidate that could be used. I think modeling has tremendous impact on the time because we could easily remove one or two rounds of experimental heats and that saves a lot of time and cost. We need to have a very good uh, collaboration between the strategic research from the beginning and uh, over to the, the full-scale production and development of the, the real product. And also collaborate with the customers because they know uh, their needs, they set the demands on, on the materials and uh, we test the materials so, so it can uh, withstand the demands and see if we can produce this as a certain product so we can have a material in the end to launch to the, the customer.